Hello, everyone. My name is Joseph Park, and I'm in charge of the WebOS development team in uh, LG Electronics. Today, I'm going to talk about our journey to WebOS open source, and also I want to share about some of our lessons during our journey. So when I first joined LG Electronics in 2012, there was a software platform for smart TV, so-called Netcast. It was homegrown, and it was Linux-based. However, when we worked on this Netcast smart TV platform, uh, it, we hit lots of issues. Uh, it's hard to catch up with any external updates. And when we try to expand this software platform to other devices, we couldn't do it. And later, some developers, they don't know like, what's going on inside. So we needed to have a new software platform, and we looked for external sources. While we are work, uh, looking for another software platform, on the, on the other side of the world, there was a, a company called Palm. And in 2009, they released a new Palm-free smartphone based on WebOS. And they created this WebOS smartphone with lots of good UX user interface and also nice features such as multitasking. Back then, there was no smartphone which supported multitasking. So this phone was a really good phone. However, the business was not very good uh, due to various reasons. So uh, finally, they were acquired by HP. And later, HP acquired this company and they released a uh, touchpad based on the WebOS. However, you may know like, what's going, what went on that time. Many people bought this touchpad, and they root it, and they installed Android, and they used this device as an Android tablet. So later, uh, HP, they decided to spin off this WebOS in a separate company, and they looked for another company to acquire this. Back to the LG story, we looked for a new software platform. However, we looked for a software platform which is based on web technology. When we looked for this uh, WebOS, it is quite good web technology-based software platform. So we decided to acquire this WebOS. And not only the source code, documentation, API, but also lots of good, talented engineers. So it was a very perfect match for our needs and their needs. However, it was not really good when we first acquired and we worked together. You may know that LG Electronics is a device manufacturing company. So we, uh, in our mindset, everything is like manufacturing. So you know, like nowadays, Agile is very, very popular. But in device manufacturing company, most of the process is waterfall. So we hit lots of issues in development methodology, software engineering process, collaboration tools, and lots of issues. We learned lots of things to resolve those issues. And within a year, finally, we released WebOS-based smart TV. In 2014, CES, we released this uh, WebOS-based smart TV. And first, we released this uh, TV, and we thought about how to scale up this software platform to other devices. And first target was a similar device. There was video wall and also uh, smart signages. And it was very successful. And we thought about how to scale down this software platform in a small devices, such as smartwatch. So next year, we released smartwatch based on WebOS. It was round shape, and it was good. And we kept thinking about how to expand this software platform to other devices. And later, we realized this company's uh, device manufacturing, especially for home appliances. So we decided to launch WebOS-based refrigerator. And Still, we are thinking about how to expand our software platform to other devices. So there are lots of devices nowadays. And those devices are nowadays not working standalone. All the devices are connected to each other. 
and standalone device cannot work better than connected devices. And we think software platform is like fundamentally uh, supporting this kind of world, and WebOS can be a, uh, can be expanded and scalable, and it can support lots of devices. So in LG Electronics for WebOS, we are releasing a WebOS device, uh, I mean WebOS reference platform every six to eight months. So when we release this WebOS reference platform, our business unit take this reference platform and deploy it into their devices, such as smart TVs or signages or refrigerator and so on. And from the beginning of WebOS, we use Qt from the beginning, and at the time we used Qt 5.0, and recently we upgraded to Qt 5.9, and we have planned to upgrade to Qt 5.12. And when we developed this reference platform last year, we had like very uh, important move, and we decided to open this WebOS uh, into public. So in this year, March, we finally released WebOS Open Source Edition in public, and you can download and you can play with it. And because like we have uh, getting our requirement from our internal business unit, we thought opening the WebOS can getting requirement from outside also. So we opened it, and currently we are getting some uh, requests from outside, and also like many people can use this uh, software platform. While we are opening this software platform, there was lots of discussions. You may know like these pictures are Cathedral and Bazaar. Uh, a few tens of years ago, there were lots of big discussions when they worked on the Linux, uh, what could be the open source model, Cathedral or Bazaar. Not only this, like when we opened this uh, web source code in public, we discussed about how to pull in the external developers' contribution or how to achieve CI or CD in our open web OS, or how to make this product more successful. And those discussions are still going on. Currently, our um, model is Cathedral. However, we are still communicating and discussing about um, improving our models. And I think this can be a very good playground, and I hope you can jump into the this WebOSC and play and swim together. And now I want to invite one of my best colleagues, Song, and he's going to talk about our vision and the future of WebOS. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Joseph. Hello, everyone. My name is Song Yeon Cho, and I'm product manager for the WebOS open source project. So why we open source the web OS? Because, you know, world has become far too complex and far too diverse for a single company to be able to meet all the different demands of, demands of customers and industries. And the world needs a thriving and open and independent software platform and ecosystem to build smart and autonomous devices of tomorrow. In the regard, I truly believe that you know, web is just great, but it can be even greater as open source platform. So we made the decision to release open source version of WebOS that everybody can access without limitation. So WebOS has been evolving over time, and it will continue to evolve based on three ideas. Intelligent experience, seamless connectivity, and best media support for any display. To provide best intelligent experience, WebOS already adopted our own AI solution called Edge ThinQ, which equals, equally works well with other AI services, such as Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Our strategy is to provide best AI experience for customers, whether it comes from our own or from third-party solutions. 
You know, again, the world has just you know, far too complex for a single company to insist on a closed strategy. To this end, WebOS will be collaborating with various partners across the industry. <coughs> and both in this connectivity, WebOS is planning to embrace the latest technologies such as 5 and blockchains. And with these technologies, WebOS will enable diverse devices, ranging from small devices to large display, to exchange data with each other, of course, in a secure manner. And to strengthen connectivity, not only within AWS devices, but also with other you know, brand devices. We'll continue to support common protocol initiatives, including Open Connectivity Foundation, OCF, which aims to provide a single language for IoT. And for the best media support for any display, actually, you know, the AWS is already supporting global top level multimedia, which already proven through the many years of productization of AWS TV. You know, we shipped, we already have shipped more than 60 million TV sets to the market. And every year, each year, we shipped more than 20 million TV sets to the market. And based on continuous R&D and investment, WebOS will be second to none valid platform that supports any media format and any screen, any screen size and any bandwidth. OK, so what is next for the WebOS? For the rapid expansion of WebOS to emerging verticals, we have selected three important purposing verticals. Robotics, automotive, and smart home. And among those smart home, among those verticals, automotive has top priority because of the potential of this industry and then the importance of the display which WebOS has been good at and the chance to leverage the existing experience and capabilities of WebOS. I think the definition of mobility is changing. In the same way, the definition, I mean, the answer to question, how did you get here, will change as well. So how did you get here? By bus? By Uber? The answer would be changed, would change to like this, as watching TV, as playing game. You know, WebOS is best known for TV. And we will bring the best user experience which will apply to TV to self-driving car. Assume that you, know, you don't have to hold steering wheel anymore. In the case, maybe you can catch up the you know, latest TV show you missed last night because you were busy. Or you can level up the you know, characters in your favorite role-playing game while traveling by car. I think autonomous driving era will be realized sooner than we may think. And I truly believe that WebOS is ready to welcome that autonomous driving era is coming. So, you know, WebOS is open, evolving, and it will be running more and more devices. And by expanding WebOS, we expect to secure more data and advance AI. And I truly believe that it's going to be a great opportunity, business opportunities for all enterprises and even to startups. As of now, we have more than 500 engineers working on the WebOS project. But we want some more. There is an old saying in Africa, if you want to go fast, you go alone. But if you want to go further, you go together. WebOS want to go far further where others have never reached yet. And today, I'm here. I want to ask you to invite, I want to ask you to that, you know, join that journey. 
Let's go together. Thank you for listening.